Hey guys, welcome back for my second video. Um, today I'm just going to do a bit of an overview for the casino event this week um, and just how I do things. Um, you guys might have your own way. Now the, well, I guess it's now called the Wishing Well event or the Wishing Fountain event, sorry. Um, as you can see, I've already done some spins um, because on my wheel I had a dark four star hero here so light and dark four star heroes um, are probably one of the best things you can get from the wishing fountain as a person who's been playing for a longer amount of time uh, early game the most important thing from the wishing fountain is it gives you resources so gold spirit magic dust um, and also it gives you artifacts. Um, the lower level you are, the less rewards you get from the Wishing Fountain. Um, you can easily find a table online which has the rewards that you can get. Um, it's just not up to date with the magic dust because back in, I think, November last year, they upped the amount of magic dust you can get because they introduced the Celestial Stones, which require a lot of magic dust to upgrade them. Um, so just looking at the table here, if you're from level 1 to 40, you can each resource has uh, different levels that you can get them at. So the worst... Uh, I'll just go based on my level, actually. Um... So because I'm over level 141, which is the highest for the resource differences in the Wishing Fountain, you can get, at worst, 125k gold. The middle value, 250,000 gold. And the largest value, 375. Um, so you can see it, the wheel I have at the moment has 250, which is the middle value for Spirit. I have 50k on my wheel at the moment. That's the worst you can get. The middle value is 100,000 and the highest value is 150. For Magic Dust, um, if you guys could let me know what the new values are. So the old values it used to be the worst was 40, the middle value 60, and the highest value 80. That's obviously different now. Um, I believe it's 75, 150, and I think it might be 225 as the highest value. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know so we can update people. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do my spins while we're here. Um, I This sort of strategy I use is you can refresh for free every three hours. Um, I'd recommend doing that until you get either the highest value of the currency you need. So for me, for gold, it would be 375,000. Spirit, if I need spirit, it would be 150,000. Or if it's magic dust, uh, like I said, I think it's 225. Or if I don't need resources, I would spin it every three hours until I get either a light or dark hero um, in the four star hero. <clears throat> um, this wheel is not great, so I'm going to refresh it and see what we get. So it's exactly the same. We still have a, a Fortress 4 star, the middle value for gold, the worst for spirit, and I think the middle for magic dust. Um, I would advise against spending gems on refreshing the wheel. <clears throat> um... Like I said, you can refresh it every three hours for free. So once the timer gets to 21 or less hours for the force refresh, that's when the gem cost is going to go away. Um, and once you get to either VIP 3 or I think it's level 80, that's when you can do the 10 spins for 8 coins, which is much better value. So... You're getting basically two free spins out of that. Um, so don't do not do what I'm about to do. 
don't spend gems to refresh. I'm just going to refresh and hopefully we get some different values here so I can show you guys that on the wheel. Cool. So now, again, same magic dust. We have the middle value for spirit and the lowest value for gold. And then this time we have an abyss hero on in the four star slot. Um, and all the five star heroes you can get from the wishing fountain are all fodder tier heroes. Um, so don't try and get them. Uh, they have a really low chance, as you can see, 0.1%. So it's basically one in every 1,000 spins that you'd expect to get it. Don't aim for the five star hero. If you manage to pick up the gear and the four star hero, I would then refresh it until every three hours. So just do the free refreshes until you have a good value again or a good hero that you're looking for in the four star slot for food you need. I'm gonna spend to refresh again. Cool, so we haven't seen any difference in the dust. Um, worst values for gold and spirit. Again, now this one, we have 100 magic dust. So the values I gave you were wrong. So maybe it's 100, 150, 200, or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's 50, 100, 150. But now we have... 375k, so the most amount of gold we can get. I'm going to go ahead and spin on this. Um, and for me, I don't really care about the gear and the fodder heroes, the four stars. Um, because I've pushed CL land 20, I generate four stars pretty quickly, and I'm lazy, like I've said in the last video. So once I get like a max value for any of the resources i generally then just stick with that spin till i'm done um with each spin guys you'll see in the top corner there's like the little gold coin with an l on it you get resources you get these gold coins when you spin the wheel um and here you can only refresh this every 24 hours um and the the gear is not worth it, um, but it is good for picking up some hero copies. You can get different heroes here. Um, they're, again, all only fodder tier heroes. You can, In the shadow faction, you can get Lutz. Sorry, let's just... You, for 8,000 of these coins, you can get Lutz and Shadow and Forest. You can get Dragon Slayer. Um, in Abyss, you can get Fat Moo. In Fortress, you can get Mirage. And then there's a tear up above that, which costs 10,000. In Fortress, you can get ODO1. In Abyss, you can get Lord Balrog as you can see here and in shadow you can get karma and then for 12,000 which is the most expensive you can get a copy of edgar from forest um they haven't re they haven't updated this uh since they put edgar in the basic five star shards so he's not he's not worth that much um and normally I just use this for fodder. Um, and let's see, I'm at 31,780. I think it's 10 per spin. Yeah, 10 per spin. So if you do a 10 bomb, you get 100 coins. Yeah, let's see. We'll go through, do the rest of my spins nice and quick. Now, if you're not worried about your resources, 
you can refresh, like I said, every three hours and just spin until you get the four star hero um, or whatever it is that you need from the wheel. Um, the Wishing Fountain event is great for boosting up your resources and I think it's really underrated for giving you the, the low level artifacts as artifact food. Um, you need these to upgrade your higher your orange artifacts or your exclusive artifacts or the event only artifacts and that's basically it for the wishing fountain event um, giving you the the different ideas of what you can do with the wishing fountain um, to get the full completion if you're level 80 or VIP 3, doing those 10 spins for 8 coins, you need 240 coins to finish one complete loop and get the, the main reward, which this time around is Heart Watcher. Heart Watcher is a great support hero for PvE because she is going to increase the damage of all your other heroes. Um, but with Heart Watcher, you don't necessarily need to push her up past 10 star for a long time until you get more into the late game PvE. So as you can see, my Heart Watcher, Heart Watcher is still at 10 star. Um, you also don't need to use a Assassin set. I just kind of have one lying around, so I put it on her and runes power for damage reduce to keep her around and alive longer. Um, the reason you want to keep her alive for longer is the way Heart Watcher increases the damage of your carry heroes is she puts the Watcher mark on the PvE or the opposing team that you're facing what the watcher mark does is increases the damage so I'll just read the active description here for you so heart watcher deals 255 percent of her attack as damage against two random enemies reducing the attack of that target by 25 percent for two rounds and tags them with a watcher mark Targets inflicted with Watcher Mark will take an extra 45% damage when attacked. This effect stacks up to a maximum of 300%. So the reason for damage reduce is to keep Heart Watcher alive into the later rounds when you've been able to stack up those Watcher Marks to cap out at a 300% damage increase. Um, her basic attack here it also adds the watcher mark um but it does a less percentage so at level 10 at least um it only adds 35 percent rather than the 45 from her active and a resource you get while doing the super wishing, uh, sorry, when doing the wishing fountain, one of the rewards are super wishing coins. This time around, they do have a event related to the use of super wishing coins. I would say you don't necessarily need to hold on to your super wishing coins. Um, I tend to use them whenever I have someone on the wishing fountain that I need. So, Gru is just a fodder hero. I'm not going to spin for Gru. And Dantelion, also another fodder hero. The four stars on the super wishing fountain, you can only get light or dark four stars. But you can get a variation on the gold, I think. 1200 like 1 1.2 million might be the least you can get and then I think it goes all the way up to 2.1 million 
but the main thing that you're searching for is normally not going to be the resources that you get it's going to be the five star that's going to be what you want to spin on this wheel because if you do get the hero which also the five star hero which has got low chances again you're going to be disappointed if you pick something up that is not what you need still better than nothing but it's better to have something you need on the wheel and get it it's a great feeling when you do get it um i just am not that lucky and have only had it a couple of times so recently i got a unimax as you can see in my history but otherwise i mostly get the artifact shards and it's great for getting profit orbs some additional heroic scrolls and monster souls to upgrade your pets or monsters but unfortunately you don't get any of the chaos stones which is the other resource for upgrading the runes and this middle page for the monsters um that's about it for the wishing fountain hopefully this time you guys didn't have your eardrums burst at the middle of the at the middle at the start of the video um and hopefully you find this helpful for when you're spinning your wheel um for this event all right thanks guys catch you in the next one Whoa!